time, only about 12 hours, we're going to go from the 70s to the 20s. So here's what I want you to review. Coming off of that story there, the four Ps, the people, pets, pipes, and plants. If you've planted some fragile vegetation, might need to cover it tonight. Bring the animals in tonight. And if you want to protect those pipes, go ahead and do it now. Temperatures are getting bitterly cold for tomorrow. We're already tracking a bit of rainfall. These are going to be spotty showers between now and about 8 p.m. These will be few and far between, but there's just a little sliver of rain now from Vincent through northern Alpine, over Logan Martin Lake, up through Talladega, and into Anniston. This is lifting closer to that I-20 corridor into Pell City, Raglan, and then on into Jacksonville. Nothing so Severe right now, and it's all falling in the liquid form so far. That will change overnight, which is prompting these winter weather alerts. The counties that you see highlighted in pink, winter storm warnings effective until 9 o'clock tomorrow morning. Counties highlighted in purple, winter weather advisory. Basically, the messaging will be the same. Whether it's the warning or the advisory, simply put, we're going to have some snow in some spots. But before we get the snow, we could have some active weather for tonight. And this will be into the early morning hours tomorrow. So the largest severe weather threat will still be to our southeast. But we are in this marginal risk. And we could have some strong winds overnight tonight, gusting up to 30 to 40 miles per hour. So that damaging wind risk is through central and Really, South Alabama, but as this cold front barrels through, that could knock over a few trees. It could even mean some power outages at times. Rainfall for tonight will amount to anywhere from a quarter to a half of an inch. Some of those higher amounts from Birmingham, Anniston, into Gadsden. So, again, remember there is a rain event first before we get into the snow. So, let's walk through this timeline. Six to eight o'clock tonight, we'll start to really notice that rain picking up in coverage in West Alabama along I 65 by 10 p.m. And while we're dealing with very heavy rainfall and the potential for some stronger storms late Friday night from Anniston, Talladega, and Clinton, at that same time, we're going to be talking about some changeover occurring from Hamilton over to Double Springs. That changeover happens as this cold air races in. By, Birmingham, uh, by midnight, Birmingham, Asheville, and Gadsden will likely start to see a sleet, rain, and snow mix changing completely into snow by about 1 o'clock from Coleman, Tuscaloosa, into Jasper. It's all winter weather early Saturday morning to our east by 6 o'clock. The snow, the rain, it's gone, and it's sunshine by 7 a.m., but it's sunshine with cold air in place. Here's those snowfall accumulations 2 to 4 inches to our north, uh, closer to an inch to 2 inches from Tuscaloosa to Jasper with a light dusting elsewhere. But with wind speeds, these are gusts 30 to 40 miles per hour. Those feels like temperatures stay in the 20s tomorrow. So the key takeaways, rain and storms first, along with the damaging winds and that winter weather from a dusting to 2 inches of snow possible. Tomorrow morning, temperatures will be in the 20s. Tomorrow afternoon, only in the 30s. And then we are in the teens by Sunday morning. Brutally cold for the weekend. We bounce back into the 60s by Monday. Another shot of rain on Tuesday. And that's a look at your storm team seven-day forecast.